Hi guys, my name is Gaurav and you are watching Aparisha Games. So today we are going to discuss about triple threat hero, Ledley King. His pace is in the decent area, passing is decent, dribbling wise is not that agile, but the composure and reactions are decent. Defending wise is super solid, physicality is 87, like he has got 87 strength. So giving him an anchor will be the right choice because his jump is a little bit low. So he might struggle with the headers. So in order to boost his jump, we need to give him an anchor play side. Uh, he is a lengthy player, so 82 acceleration and 89 sprint speed won't be an issue in game. Uh, if we look at his uh, work rate, he has got medium high work rate, two star skill move, four star weak foot, right footed player, and lengthy on an anchor, and mostly lengthy on a shadow. If we look at his play styles, he has got all the play styles, almost all play styles. Like he has got jockey, block. Anticipate plus and bruiser. So guys, uh, let's test him out for a couple of matches and see how he performs in game. And then I'll be back with the review. Ledley King, let's see, is jockeying. Oh, he should have intercepted that man. Lavel again, nice pass. Ledley King, pass. Good pass. Will we be talking about him for the right reasons today, though? Well, if they play a high line defensively today, he's certainly going to exceed. That was red, and the ball has changed hands. Good work by Lendy King. Now back to Van Dijk. Is there? A chance to cross here. Good header by Lendy King. Excellent reading of the game. Lendy King didn't win the ball there. He's head to it, but he's missed the chance. Come to anything. Ledley King, good work there. Oh, that's nicely done. And the goal. King. Ledley King. Very nice. On to Camavinga. King. Lorente. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Point was moving the ball forward with purpose. Ledley King, excellent block, but again, this game, guys. Yes, he has this game. Stupid game guys, stupid game. Cannot help it, this was a glitch by EA Sports man. What a stupid goal to concede. Good work by Ledley King. Good work to recover possession. Good work by King. Good work by King. And he... King didn't intercept that. That is crazy, man. Yes, no interceptions. No interceptions. Yes, yes, yes. GG. And Ledley King with no interceptions again. Yes. Good, good, good header by Ledley King. So guys, after using King for a couple of games, what I felt was, uh, this card was a hit and miss. Like sometimes he was uh, good, sometimes he was not performing at all. Like his interceptions were not visible in the game. He was not intercepting anything. Maybe because he doesn't have the intercept rate and maybe because uh, we need to give him a shadow to boost his interception because it is a bit low. But if you give him a shadow, his pace and interceptions will increase, awareness will increase, but then the jump won't increase. If someone will spam crosses, he will lose the headers because the jump is 80 which is too low and his height is also not 6, not 6 4 or 6 5 that he will win the headers it's 6 2 so he might struggle with the headers then this card is a hit and miss like it depends on the opponent which you are facing and uh, he will perform according to that if someone is a cross spammer and if you have given him a shadow you will you will be doomed like they will score the opportunities but if you are using an anchor and someone uses through passes a lot then this guy will struggle because he doesn't have the intercept rate and he's not intercepting anything. So for me, uh, if you ask me how I felt about this card, he is a solid CB to use, uh, but not the best card. Like Vidic's card and Blanc's card and Baran's card is better than this card of King. Uh, they perform better. Their AI, AI is also better. Jockeying wise, strength wise uh, and uh, tackling wise, like he was super solid. Tackling animations were crazy. Pace is good. Physicality wise he was OP. It's, it's just a decent card. If you want to grind him out, uh, the SBC is somewhere around 370k. What I would suggest is go for the Vidic card. That card is like uh, miles better than this King's card. 
uh, let me show you how good uh, this king's card is. So this card is somewhere around 370 and uh, I think this uh, Vidit's card, here it is. Yeah, and this Vidit's card is somewhere around 470k. This card performs better than the Vidit's card and jump is not an issue with this card because it is already 91. So you can easily give him a shadow and boost his space as well. So for me guys, uh, you have to invest 100k more but this uh, Vidit's card is far far better than the king card and uh, I won't recommend uh, uh, you to complete this card. So, but if you want to have fun, you want to enjoy, you want to grind that objective like EA gave an objective uh, which is not a right thing to do because they are forcing you to do an SBC. If you don't want to complete an SBC, uh, you should, uh, like EA should not force us. Like for getting the packs, we have to play uh, score in 10 matches using this triple threat hero king card. So this is actually EA is forcing us to get this card like 83 plus 3 and 84 cross 3. So if someone doesn't want to do it, if they want these packs, they have to grind. So for that reason, if you want to grind, you can grind it. But 370k is a lot and I don't think you should complete this card for that particular, for this particular reason. Uh, you should leave this because it's not worth it. This card, I didn't really enjoy it. Even the hero card was performing slightly better than this card. I don't know how it is, but it was happening like that. And uh, yeah, if you want to grind him, you can. Decent card to use, but not the best. So, what I will suggest is rather go for that Centurion's Vidish card. That card is actually better and a solid CB to use in game. So, that's the review for King, guys. Uh, that's my opinion. Maybe someone else uh, likes this card. Maybe someone will hate this card. But that was my opinion, what I felt while using this card. Like, I used him for uh, two matches, and uh, this is what I observed. Like interceptions were missing and uh, he was not blocking anything. Physicality wise he was good, pace wise he was good and his tackling animations were good also, uh, were also good. So that's the good part and what is the bad part I told you. So even if you then, if then you want to try this card and uh, go for it, you can go for it. Uh, that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you have any queries, come, uh, do mention in the comment section. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel as well. And keep on supporting guys. Thank you so much. My name is Gaurav. You are watching Apaisha Games. Bye. Peace.